Would you like to learn more about positive displacement oval gear flow meters? Check it out. Coming up next on Tech Review. <laughs> On today's tech review, we are going to learn all about the McNaught Oval Gear flow meters. And my guest today is Tony Marks. Hi, Brett. Hey, how are you today? I'm doing fine, thank you. So tell me about your company. Well, McNaught is a predominantly an oval gear instrument company. Mm -hmm. We've uh, been in business since 1964. So a long uh, time. Yeah, yeah. We've uh, we've got quite a bit of experience in, in this space. And also, uh, as of today, we are the largest oval gear uh, flow meter manufacturer globally. And that's why he's here. All right. <laughs> right out. So this is the guy you specialize in. And this is, we've had a great deal of success. This oval gear flow meter, how does it work? Ah, good question. So our latest uh, model, the MX model, is a uh, uh, derivative of the original meter. Uh, very simple principle of operation. Mm -hmm. uh, you have port-to-port uh, -port inlets of various sizes, quarter through four inch. Okay. You have oval gears in uh, the interior body. Your fluid is turning those rotors. Mm -hmm. We have magnets within those rotors, and that magnet is picked up with our electronics from a count standpoint and converted from a count to a flow rate. Very simple. Very simple as that. So obviously in selecting the right flow number, you need to have some information about the application. What is temperature, pressure, flow rate, uh, and then the, the density or the centipoise or viscosity of the liquid itself to size it out. That's correct. Um, one of the nice things about oval gear technology is the turndown. So the first thing we're going to ask is what is your desired uh, flow rate? Okay. In many cases, you if you're in a one-inch line and your flow rate is X, we may be able to put you in a smaller okay. meter for cost of uh, ownership purposes. Uh, the second is going to be the viscosity of the material. Mm -hmm. Another nice benefit of, of oval gear technology is uh, you can handle uh, water-like all the way up to very, very high viscosity uh, fluids. Mm -hmm. uh, in some cases, exceeding half a million centipoise uh, is, is not a problem it's for really us. Really good stuff then, that you're not going to be able to use most other flow technologies to begin with. So that's right. That's a great solution there. Yeah. Well, let's give me an example of some of those applications. Well, we're, sure. We're well known in the fuel and oil space. Okay. Uh, however, uh, there are many other uh, uh, medias that uh, are suitable for oval gear, uh, including uh, resins of all types, mm -hmm. um, uh, harsh chemistries, mild chemistries. We'll take a review of those and, okay. and work with, with you on the compatibility there. Uh, again, highly viscous materials. Um, uh, you know, maybe some resins and paints uh, and things like that. Yeah, paints, uh, the components behind paints, okay. including resins, uh, solvents is, is quite a big sector for us as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I can see then using this as a process control device, obviously we can have features, what, a display? That's a likely feature then, and then some outputs? What, what are those about? That's correct. The, the typical outputs that we uh, engage with are a pulse output, which comes okay. as, as a standard, you get one read and one hall effect, mm -hmm. a pulse output. Mm -hmm. uh, you have options to give you a display only mm -hmm. or a display with a four to 20 and a pulse output. Okay. Those are current offerings from an output, output so, perspective. So from a process control standpoint, we can use this for monitoring a specific application and because we have the outputs now, we can transmit that for a PLC interface or batch control or just process control of your overall application as well. That's correct. And, and the nice thing about this meter, uh, regardless of viscosity, your accuracy is 0.5%. So that's the separation then from another type of technology then, a yeah, turbulator really or something like that. So there's a key application. So uh, as we were talking earlier, if, there's, if the viscosity is up there, there's, there's not a whole lot of choices, and not only can they solve that problem using this technology, they can get some accurate numbers in that same application. So it really opens up the door uh, from a process control standpoint, from an accuracy standpoint. And when you get down to it, the cost of the technology is very practical as well. You know, there's three key benefits I like to uh, discuss with, with end users. 
The accuracy is of reading, not of scale, of, of reading. reading. That's okay. important. Yeah. The repeatability is 0.03%. Again, very important from a batching perspective. Absolutely. And the design conditions of this meter allow you to place this meter uh, in, in any location you need to. There's no flow conditioning required. So you can put this nope. meter right on a pump. We're in and out then, basically. Yeah, no, gotcha. no problem whatsoever. So highly flexible from a design standpoint there. And then as far as materials of construction, this thing is really built. This is not going any place there. It's robust and solid, yeah. So we're making this what? Uh, what materials of construction then? Stainless steel? Right. Uh, we have uh, uh, three body uh, materials of construction, and those are aluminum, stainless steel, and Riton Polypro. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, the same materials of construction for our rotors, aluminum, uh, stainless steel, or Riton, and we'll use combinations of those depending on the media uh, to give you the, the best cost of ownership uh, material construction-wise. Well, that's great. Today we've learned more about oval gear flow meters from our guest, Tony Marks, from uh, McNaught, out of the, the Tampa facility That's here right. in the U.S. Yep. So we're, we're just right around the corner. So if you'd like to learn more about uh, positive displacement or oval gear flow meters, as Tony's brought information to us today uh, about McNaught, if you take a look at the show links listed below, you'll be able to go to the website and collect more information. So, Tony, thank you very much for stopping by today. Oh, thank nice you. Nice to meet you. Enjoyed it. This has been Brent Baird for Instruments to Rep. Thank you very much for attending our tech review session today. Peace out. You've done this before. <laughs>